videoing. Okay. Welcome, this is Wyndham College English History Faculty's advice on how to write Module B style responses. These are seven suggested structures that you can use to go beyond analysis of simply talking about how techniques work, the emotions associated with them, or the thoughts or the ideas associated with them, and actually get to your personal response. Now, these different sentences should allow you to get into the habit of speaking with much more confidence, much more modality, rather than saying, uh, telling a marker what your teacher told you, which is a bit awkward when the teacher is the marker and they're really just getting a feedback loop of their own ideas back, we would like you to incorporate your own personal voice. So by all means, feel free to use these sentence structures as you like, but at the same time, we would like you to adapt and change them and obviously come up with structures of your own so you can speak from the heart and talk about how your close study, module B, has informed your own thinking as a student of literature. Now, here we go. The first one is, um, and again, we uh, focus on feed, or you can focus on the novel um, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. It doesn't really matter. You should be able to use these sentence structures. So the first one is a simple one from this example which preceded it. I now value or I appreciate the idea of blah, blah, blah. So rather than reciting the thing, we want you to go beyond that. And that first example there would be about how you go beyond saying this is a thing to saying it is valuable and important. And you can talk about the wider world very, very briefly. Um, okay, so the second one there is, this is important as humanity or as humans or as a society, we yearn for a greater sense of, and then you can install another theme in there. Now, again, this is not just saying that it exists, this is saying that it's something important about what it means to be a human. You can even think about um, the core, uh, common module about uh, the human experience and think about philosophically what humans generally tend to go for, belonging, um, respect, uh, whatever. Now the third one here, here is this linguistically illustrates the importance of language. That's a little bit of a clunky sentence there, but that could be about something, if, you, if it's a very technical example, and about how the author of the novel or the composer of the text has done something very, very fantastic and you want to celebrate that specifically, then you can use something like that. Four, this is a longer one here, they get a little bit more complex as we go down. It is critical that we are exposed to the unsettling nature of whatever the idea is. Maybe a theme might be something really heavy like death as it is from these uncertainties, um, ambiguities, that prompt us to ask the essential question from which we can grow as readers, as citizens, and even be more compassionate with our fellow human beings. This is bigger, broader, a bit more ambitious, especially when you're caught between two ideas. But um, one ir ironic example would be if you face issues like the death of a dog or the sorrows that normally happen in tragedy tragedies or novels. Um, then sometimes that can make you reflect on your own life and live with greater confidence and connection and meaning. Um, the fifth one here is upon reflection. This is an example of why in society this tends to happen. Um, again, another simple structure there. The sixth one is we need to act and literature inspires action. So rather than just dropping in a theme here, ask yourselves, well, what do we do now once we put the book down? What kind of world do we want to live in? If it's feed, do we want to live in a dystopian, technocratic, uh, world where we are completely disconnected and subjugated by our corporate masters, or if we're reading something like Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, do we want to continue to live in a world that doesn't understand people like Christopher, or do we want to be in a more connected world where we take a little bit more time and look at the new refreshing perspectives of people who see the world differently and value those people and include them in the big human narrative that is our life. And the last one is, this is a little bit more informal, but for the annotation assessment, because it's your annotation and it's not an essay, it's not a formal document, so you can be a little bit informal, this is a little bit experimental, a little bit cheeky, but I've said, um, I'm upset because Anderson, who wrote Feed, is right. Uh, we have just given up uh, because of comfort. This is very specific to the novel now. How woefully sad it is that we accept such a poorly negotiated term uh, the terms for our new society and we live in that way. So even a bit of a personal voice and getting a little bit fired up and trying to sound strong to really increase your modality and increase your personal response. Thank you for that. Hopefully those sentence structures let you know what you're allowed to say and how you're allowed to communicate so you can produce better module B responses. Thank you very much.